So I mentioned earlier, in October, October 26th, we're doing lightning talks. We've never done lightning talks for Tech Lancaster before, have we? Maybe. We've never done, I don't know, maybe. Yeah. In recent memory, we have not done lightning talks. We're going to make it maybe a tradition. This, it could be kind of fun. Uh, if you don't know what a lightning talk is, I'm going to give you a lightning talk right now about how to give lightning talks. So yeah, this will be very, very interesting. Um, and I'm going to start right now. So here are my 10 commandments of lightning talks. Why 10 commandments? I don't know. I thought it'd be funny. I'm just going to you know, channel my inner Charlton Heston. If you don't know who Charlton Heston is, go find a grandparent. They'll tell you <laughs> who you need to talk to. OK, so commandment number one, thou shalt have no other points before me. Right? You got one point. That's your main point. Your main point, how do I? Your main point is your only point. OK? You, don't, you got five minutes. You can only make one point. Boil it down, get your one talk, uh, point. Mine's how to give a lightning talk. I'm doing it right now. I said it multiple times, how to give a lightning talk. So it sits in your brain, and you can ruminate it. And I said it early, so you know what I'm doing, why I'm here, why you're here. Number two, thou shalt not have too many graven images. All right? I'm talking really fast, because I only have five minutes. You can't be listening to what I'm saying and reading a novel. Ah, that's too much. Don't do that. Don't do that to the people, all right? Keep it simple. Just a couple words. That's all you need. Number three, thou shalt not use slides in vain. Look, I can talk and there's nothing even up there. You're still listening to me. I don't even need this thing. Don't need slides if you don't want slides. It's fine. Number four, thou shalt remember the lightning talk day and keep it holy. When was it? October 26th. Oh, you guys are great. October 26th. That's the date. Guess what? I came up with the idea for this talk two hours ago. If I can come up with this lightning talk in two hours, you can come up with a lightning talk in two whole months. Uh, keep out the Sabbath, you know, if you don't want to. That's like 50 some days. 50 days, five minutes, 10 days for a minute. That's like, if you can come up with six seconds of talking points every day from now till October 26th, you have a lightning talk. Number five, thou shalt honor the outline and the bullet point. They're the only tools you need. All right? Start with your conclusion, work backwards. You don't even have to talk in complete sentences. Why? Because. <laughs> Number six, thou shalt kill extra fluff. Yeah. No details, no backgrounds, no extraneous anecdotes or tangents. You've got your main point. What did I say before? Keep it simple. Also, yes, I copied and pasted that slide. I only had two hours. Leave me alone. Number seven, thou shalt not commit too much seriousness. Uh, get it? Ad adultery, adulteriness. It, it was a pun. It's bad. Uh, but seriously, light, fluffy, fun. This is good times. If you want to do a serious talk, uh, talk to Joshua or I after. We'll get you on the actual Tech Lancaster schedule. You can do a full talk. It's great. Uh, but a lightning talk is a nice gateway into giving a serious talk at Tech Lancaster. Next up, number eight. Thou shalt not steal time. I started a five minute timer at this, and I've got a whopping one minute and 50 seconds left. There's a whole bunch of people going to be giving lightning talks. Maybe like 10 ish, I don't know, 10 ish. You go over your time, you're stealing their time. You're stealing all of our time. Don't steal time, that's not nice. Make it five minutes. Set yourself a timer and check your timer. That's another important one. OK, we're still good. <laughs> Number nine, thou shalt bear false witness in front of a mirror. All right? Over and over and over again, practice, practice, practice. It's a five minute lightning talk. You do it three times. That's only 15 minutes. You got a lunch break like that's free. You can, you can do this. You can do this. But if you practice it, then you get the timings down. The timings are important. It looks like you're a professional, like I've done this before. Actually, I only did this twice in front of a mirror. <laughs> Number 10, thou shalt not covet ideas. Now, this is the most important one. Every single one of you out there is a unique individual with unique experiences and unique perspectives. You've done different things. You've worked on different projects. You have different hobbies. 
Every single one of you has a valuable thing that you can share with us. Don't covet them to yourself. Share it with us. We want to know what's inside your brain, all right? Oh, did I inspire you? Are you in? If you're in, we're going to get a piece of paper out, and we're going to come up with a little sign-up sheet. And if you have some ideas, you can write them down and get on the schedule already. Somebody came up with what? Luke, you came up with one today. Right. You're the same Luke. It's fine. Luke's already on there. But guess what? I'm done. Seriously, I got to find some paper and get a sign up sheet going. But uh, that was the lightning talk. I don't know if you learned anything or not. I had fun, it was enjoyable. Uh, if you're nervous about lightning talks, five minutes. You'll be done before the panic attack sets in. It's great. Uh, I think there was a sign-up sheet Yeah, there might be. D you digital people. Uh, we'll post that around. I never even mentioned Slack. If you want to get on Slack, let us know. Who's, on, who's a Slack admin? All right, yeah, you can, you can chat away on there and not do real work. It's good times. Um, but this has been Tech Lancaster. You don't have to go home now. We'll hang out for a while. There is still pizza and beer, I think. Um, and then we'll start shooing you out when one of us gets tired and wants to lock up. Oh, cool. Then we ordered appropriately. But feel free to meander. Thanks for coming. If it was your first time, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh, if it's your second time, I don't care about you.